Torian Wellman back here with TYP Old Wellness Training. Going to show you a great exercise to kind of open up some dorsiflexion or capabilities of the posterior chain and actually reset some uh, tight joint capsules that can happen within the feet, okay? Because as we're moving from day to day, we're taking that front end to impact and I highly like the chance that you're going to be very tight and restricted to the posterior chain can now restrict the ability to access dorsiflexion. If I'm always constantly loading in a bad fixed position, you can imagine all that inflammation traveling up into the knee joints, and it happen into the hip joint, up into the back. So it's super important that I'm re-establishing some type of mobility or range of motion through the components of the feet and the ankles. So that would be the big toe particularly, some of the other toes obviously, uh, the arch of the foot, the Achilles tendon, and literally the ankle joint. So an exercise such as this, really effective for kind of opening up some of those angles. Especially if you're in a job that requires you wearing a very stiff boot or you're, you know, wearing heels or something like that. So anyway, I'm going to do it two uh, exercises in one here. The first one I'm going to focus on is I'm garnering or gaining good posture. My feet are in a good position. Okay, they're going to be symmetrically over my shoulders. I'm going to pinch my shoulder blades back. My pelvis is coming underneath me. And what I want to try to do is passively lengthen those particular areas that we're going after. Passively because my arms or other body parts are pulling me into said position. Okay, so that could be the first component you could do. Try a set of like eight to 12 of these to really feel that stretch. The higher you put your foot, the more aggressive you're going to feel it. So definitely go to where your range allows. You don't want to force anything. Because we're doing this dynamically, it's really creating the space as opposed to holding a static stretch. This is a lot more effective, especially as you're warming up. Okay, so getting into that passive movement, I want to work on that good pelvis and shoulder blade right now. For the second component, I would definitely do this secondly because you don't want to do this first and try to aggressively lengthen those tissues because you could hurt yourself. So with the second motion, now I'm going to stop pulling myself in. I call this the active version. I want to now start working on activating said knee joint in towards each toe. I go from the big toe and I bring it back. I go from the second toe, I bring it back. I go to the next toe, I bring it back. Really focusing on activating or engaging, particularly just the leg that is loaded or is in said position. The other parts of my body are gonna stay relatively stable. So I'm learning how to sequence or order or organize everything else while earning activity into one particular segment of my body. So learning more body control, weight distribution control as well as lengthening those tissues. When it's typically after, say, one complete lap, you take a couple steps, you'll notice that you got a lot more spring back into your step. Also kind of help alleviate some of that Achilles tension and some of that calf tension. So try that today.